everybody, Meriden in Gaming here, and we're back in the Infinity Craft server. And if you notice a little bit of a change, we actually added in uh, the paths going from our watchtower down to our uh, little blacksmith area. Uh, I also in added in a couple of other details if we want to take a look. I added in this um, lamp post right here that I designed. Um, I saw something similar, but it wasn't with. It had this piece on the top, so uh, we used that part of the design to give it this kind of old-fashioned medieval-looking uh, style. And then we added in some of the blackstone, which I really haven't ever used before, but I do like the fact that it matches kind of with the uh, the iron. Um, and then the other thing uh, that I added, which I'll show you how to build that in just a second, um, was the bridge uh, going from here uh, down our path over to our blacksmith area. Um, I really liked this design. Uh, it's kind of robust, uh, but we'll probably use this quite a bit throughout our kingdom here uh, because we will be bridging the gap between other, um, you know, other areas like that area over here, this area here, and over there as well. Um, and we'll probably use this same, same similar kind of design on staircases. Uh, so, you know, it kind of has a, a similar flow throughout our entire uh, kingdom. And then the other thing we did, of course, was we also linked up the um, the storage area here, which, if you've noticed, I've actually gone through and added in all the chests. So we've got all those chests in. I don't know if I finished off the bottom area, but we finally had enough wood. Uh, now, see, I've still... You wouldn't believe how much wood this actually <laughs> requires. It's a lot. Because, um, like, basically... One stack is, you know, just half of this area here. But yeah. Anyway, um, I'm still going to figure out what we're going to do for our entrance into our storage area. I still don't, like, this works for now, but I, I still want to, like, finish out with the stone brick all the way through. Uh, using the mossy cobblestone and the mossy stone bricks as well. Um, throughout our thing to give it you know a little bit more definition because we still haven't done that with this because I don't have the vines yet I believe or did I get vines I think someone gave me some vines at some point yeah someone did so we just actually need to grow these uh, so that we can have uh, the vines in fact you know what let's go ahead and place these we can just uh, grow them here inside our area we just pop those up at the top same here and here, uh, those will just grow down, and we will be able to harvest them using our shears. Now, on to the point of building the uh, lamp post and the bridge. Uh, we're going to hop over into our creative world so I can show you how to build it there. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're in our creative world, and I went through a few different designs, as you can see here, trying to get... Um, an interesting bridge design. I kind of liked that one, but I felt like this took up too much of the water uh, to allow it to flow. And that would be more of a larger bridge design, probably. And then here's some of the other options we had for lamp posts. Um, this, oop, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let see, I think it's one of these. So this one here was using the black stone and the standard stone. Uh, that's just a very basic one. and. Uh, I felt like these hung down too much. I do like the addition of the chains, though. I was trying to figure out a way to use them, but I really couldn't. Um, this one, I like the fact that you can use these levers as supports. And that you, and you can see that you can kind of change out the wood and the trap doors, depending on what will best fit your specific build. So if you're using a lot of that crimson wood, you can use it instead. And then another good option is the iron trap doors, because those will uh, give you that white texture. Uh, and then this is exactly as we built it in our world, but you could also replace some of these, depending on how tall it is, with the wood as well uh, to give you a different kind of color combination. I just felt like this didn't look sturdy enough to just support the uh, the top here. I, I did like the stone, so that's what I went with. Of course, you could swap up the colors using the black stone for this um, instead of uh, the standard stone, but uh, I went with you know the combination because it kind of draws the same kind of color combinations from the top to the bottom. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the bridge first. Uh, let me throw this away. Don't need that. All right, so the only things you're going to need are lanterns, some slabs, some stairs, oak logs, and chiseled bricks. 
um, which we've got a section of it here anyway, but uh, we'll go ahead and go through. So basically uh, what you're going to do is uh, for each section of the bridge, uh, this is going to be, you know, however tall you want to be up by the water. We're just going to do three because uh, that's one of the easiest ways to do it. And then you can count out three and then another log pillar. That's what gives us our design here. Um, yeah. And then we come around the bottom. We're going to place out our brick stairs. Just like so. That gives it, you know, the support. And then uh, in between the pillars, we're also going to have uh, three. So one, two, three, and right like that. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have these all the way around, um, but it does look nice, especially on the outside uh, edges. So it just kind of depends. Well, it also helps if you place it right. Why will that not place right? There we go. And of course, you can spread this out further or make these uh, bigger. Uh, but I, I did like the design of how far these were apart here. All right. And then the, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our slabs. They're going to come in right at the top level of... Oh, did that wrong. Right here between the all the pillars. Um, and actually, I think the pillar needs to go up one more for the level. Like so. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a stair facing kind of in and up on this side and on this side. And a slab in between. So that gives us that kind of see-through area. Uh, and it makes it look more like a railing. Uh, then we're going to put a stair facing up here stair facing up here as well and then up here on top we're going to put slab here slab here stair facing that slab stair facing that slab and then on top of that stair right oh nope did that wrong we'll put a chiseled block here and a chiseled block here and then that kind of basically completes our thing except for the lamps so um You've got a couple options. You could put the lamps here if you like. Uh, that lights up more towards the interior, especially if you have a wider bridge. Um, but for me, since we're, we're going to have them on both sides, uh, having them there is more than enough. But if you had like a seven wide bridge, I'm not sure how far those will reach. So there, there, here. Stair, stair. Stair, stair, chiseled, chiseled, lamp, and lamp. Uh, now you could bring this, depending on how far you're coming down, um, you could do it with uh, actual stairs coming down, uh, but I've always liked the more gradual descent. Well, if I can click right. Using the half slabs. I've always liked, I always felt like those were like a more gradual step down rather than the uh, the standard. So there we go. And then you can basically just keep bringing it down until it gets to the correct level. And then I would say if you get to a third one, if it's coming down more than just uh, three blocks, then you probably have to do some supports underneath. Uh, stone brick walls make a great uh, support for that. So let me grab those. So yeah, once you reach this third one, if it's not all the way down, um, on the outside, you can do these. Up, oh, if I can click right, you can do some like just some small stone uh, pillars to help support the weight of the stairs. But yep, and that is pr pretty much it for the bridge. And you basically just do it over and over again, depending on how far you need. And then turning, I would probably just do a straight. If you if you had to make a, a turn, I would do, do a straight 90 degree turn. Bring it along this side, the same design along this next side here, and then continue out this way. Now for the uh, lamppost. So this is a very basic lamppost. We're going to use our chiseled brick here. 
use our black stone walls around the outside. I always do one because I love how this meets right here, this little combination, uh, because it gives it that you know kind of nice little squared off look uh, of the stone wall. And to me, the, uh, the the standard fence, the wood fence, just was a little bit too uh, fragile uh, to connect there. So if if you are going to use the stone fence, I would start here because it's basically gradually stepping down. And you could even go from stone or wood fence back up to stone fence if you like. So yeah, over here on this one. Like I said, this is the problem is this is about to fall as soon as I let go. So don't stand under that if you're breaking the block directly underneath the anvil. So you could do something like this if you like to give it, you know, a little bit more of a definition, you know, a little bit more detail. But for me, I liked just the the two stone brick. Then you place your anvil on top. Now to place the hoppers, you're gonna have to place something underneath. Because if you click on the anvil, like I'll show you real quick, if we try to do it onto the anvil, well, if I can get it, it's going to connect into the anvil, which that's not what we want. We want that little piece coming down so we can connect our um, lantern to it. So you got to place the block underneath, place that there, and then your lantern. Oh, you got the shift click, place your lantern there. Oh, sorry. All right, and then same thing on this side. Except I keep forgetting to shift click. And there you go. So that is our two basic uh, little details that we've added. I'm still working on the small buildings because I really did not care for that design. Um, I'm gonna. I'm still trying to tweak it to get a little bit more detail into it, but uh, we're definitely gonna go with something a little bit different. Uh, I was playing around with just the color palettes over here. Uh, okay, random trader. Um, I was trying to play with different color palettes over here, uh, which this is, of course, doesn't have enough um, depth to it because um, we probably need to bring these out a little bit further. Oh, if I can do it right. Uh, to give it a little bit more definition, but um, I think we'll end up using concrete instead of wool on that uh, but that was just a different slightly different design um, that's not detailed it was just get something on paper basically but yeah anyway uh, this is American Gaming don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon so you can see all my videos We're working on three Minecraft series right now Medieval Dynasty and Elite Dangerous uh, if you have any comments please leave those down in the comment section especially on you know different designs we can do or different color combinations or if there's uh, anything else you want to see specifically uh, me take a crack at i will definitely do that and anyway this is Meriden gaming and i'll see you on the bridge or at the lamppost or in the survival minecraft world